My friend, I know that me wearing a hat on this broadcast looks weird, but because of chemo, I'm losing my hair, and I think this looks better than if I had it off. September has always been a wonderful time in my life. It is a time because of us going to school in September as a child that it was a time of beginning again, a time of raising our grade status. It is a time where even as adults, no matter what our age, we can think about beginning again, about accomplishment, about succeeding beyond our wildest dreams. Have you ever heard a person say, I wish my life were different, but it's too late now. You would be surprised, my friend, how many times I hear that in a prayer request. And what a negative way to start a prayer request. Oh, it's too late now. If I had started earlier, uh, it would be different. Too many people have changed the direction of their thinking and their whole direction of their lives by changing their concept of what is too late. You are in a stage of life where with God you can begin again. And with God you can disprove a human belief, which I believe is a lower mind human belief, even an animal belief, that you are destined to be in the worst state that you have ever been in, that it is too late to begin again. If you want your life to be different, it can be. I'm going to repeat that. If you want your life to be different, it can be. And it can be right now. It can be as soon as you decide that it can be. And as soon as you know that God is your help, that you don't have to do it again alone, which we've all tried and we all know that it doesn't work. The change you long for. It can be in the thought that you are not alone, that you're one with God, that you don't have to rely on your little self alone. Do you see yourself as a victim of circumstance? Or do you see yourself as a child of God? A child of God that is created for triumphant, joyful living. Well, you are created in that way. I totally believe that, and I know that to be true. My friend, if you want to begin again, we need first to give ourselves permission to have a whole new vision of ourselves. Not ourselves alone, but ourselves with God and what we want to achieve. Now, it may be a small step at first that sets us and our feet on a brand new path. But it can be just the idea planted in our own mind of I can. Four letters that can change your life. I can. And when we're inclined to believe that God is with us, we are inclined not to be in fear any longer. We realize that we are not bound to the old ways and the old ways of thinking. We can change and life can change. <laughs> the whole thing is, it is never too late to begin. And I pray that you realize that you have an open door that you can go through with God. As it says in Revelations 3 verse 8, it says, I have set before you 
an open door.